Welcome everyone, Mark here. Today I'm gonna to start painting a parrot. And this is part one. This is a uh, just the first layer wash of this oil painting. And uh, I'll move the camera over so you can see what I've got already going here. I worked on the drawing yesterday. <clears throat> All right, so. I worked on the drawing, then I put a little bit of uh, paint on the background, the oil paint. I started with acrylic, and then I put oil paint in the background, <clears throat> and I kind of avoided the drawing here. And uh, so now is the first wash layer. So first thing I need to do is put some reds in here. That's what I want to start. And I'll start using a vermilion color. A million, kind of like a an orange pink, it's kind of like a cross between red, pink, and orange mixed together. <clears throat> so I get some of that out. I'm gonna grab a flat brush, a little paint thinner. Kind of look at the areas that it's going to be eventually red. Fill that in. Now, right away, just looking at the color, it's a little bit too orange. I'm going to put a little bit of crimson into it. It's going to deepen the redness of it a little. A little bit too orange at this stage, or any stage, really. Yeah, a little bit of crimson into it, it's going to deepen the, the redness of it. And we know it's going to be along the top here. We've got one on top. <clears throat> Careful to keep that line nice and straight there. On that point, comes there, straight down there. It's kind of Looking back and forth to my reference, making sure I have the uh, perspective of it right. There. right there and then comes down. There. Not worry about the, about highlights, shadows, anything like that right now. I'm just getting the red paint on there. Right down there, then a couple of feathers come out. <clears throat> and it's going to come down to about here. I'll whip around. I'm pretty sure I have the right color on here. Let's 
It's gonna, the red's going to come straight down here. Thin out right there, and it's going to come around for the most part. And then right there, I want to go around, come up there. <clears throat> Sorry, well, I'll go back and forth and look at my reference. Just want to make sure I have it accurate. So that gets the red areas in there. Now, there's a little bit of like a, this green and there's like a sky blue or a thalo blue and then there's like a purple. Individually. First, I'll start with the sky blue and get that put in. More pink there. This is the sky blue. We'll just figure out where that's going to be. This green feathers that separate this part. I'm sort of going around where the green feathers are going to be. These areas in there. See, a little bit loose. It goes down. Large feather that comes down here. This color. Another one overlaps there. And this comes down there and then overlaps that that way. Find these a little bit more. Find them. Yeah. All right, so I'll kind of let that set up for a second. Now I know I need some brown and maybe some raw umber in this part and this little branch these hang out on. Brown or right umber, the earth tones. So I wonder if you can see that. Going to a different one-inch brush, or a, not a one-inch, a little uh, number two flat brush. Go into those colors and those put on there. Make it 
too dark, just gonna get that on there there. Okay. Really gnarly looking. Back of this part right here, he's sitting on. Okay, so we have those areas put in. Now, some black area right here, I want to put in. Have some black paint. A little bit of lamp black I'm using. Find the bottom. This brush a little bit too smooth up to a different brush. Find the bottom. Find the sides. And the top. Lines in there. And inside of there. I'm not going to completely fill it in all the way. I'm just going to leave it a little bit. Leave it a little bit unfilled in. And right up in here is some dark. I'm going to muzzle put that on there now. Okay. Start to indicate the eye a little. A little bit of the paint there. Here it is a very small eye. Like a little eyebrow there, too. Now, let me see. This is a more of a purplish color. In here, so I'll start to indicate that. Take the brush that has the blue on it. Brush that has the blue and add, let me see if I can make a purple color with crimson in that color. And like. So, take a purple color, sort of fill in around those areas there, put those things in there. Back and forth, I'm trying to look at my uh, reference. I can screw it up a lot of those and down. This pure blue here, up there. Some 
black. Some darker areas. Some of these lines here. You can feel all that going on there. I'm going to wash the end of it, go where his uh, little flower is there. I feel like that little flower going on there. Oh, that's good. That's good. Now, let's grab a little bit of a greenish color, the sap green. Let's fill in some of these leaves or uh, feathers. A leaf and a feather. See those lines through there. If it starts to blend a little bit with that blue, that's fine. It's okay, it doesn't matter at this point. Okay, so that covers basically that area. Um, a little bit of white. A little bit of red. This part filled in. A touch more red and put it on the edge of it. White and fill this in. Right. A little more red, oops, way too much. 
blend into the black there. Kind of get this idea of these little patterns that are going to be in here eventually. All right, so that's the wash layer of Parrot. It's already starting to look kind of colorful, which is nice. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll try to get this going tomorrow. Start working on the underpainting of the background. Thanks for watching.